Hey GPNZ crew, how's it going? It's super humid and gross here. Uh, did you get all the rain last week? We did. Let's have a look at what's happening in the tiny patch. Actually, in this video, I should state, we're going to quickly check on the pumpkin. We're going to check at what's left of the, uh, the pumpkin plant. And I've never shown you what else I've been growing here, so I'm going to quickly do that. And I've got a fancy new way of checking how much rain we've had. So, let's check it out. Oh, here's the pumpkin. Um, I think I said it was, did I say it was 65 last time? It's 70 now. Let's put another five kilos. Look at it go. It's coloring up. It's super warm. Hopefully it's not cooking on the inside, but the plant, that's the best of the plant there. The rest of it is gone. A little bit over there. I will do a video later on about that stump because there's something I want to talk about with that. Um, yeah, look at this. Crispy, crispy, crispy. Also, I was going to mention, um, have you had to deal with aphids? If you have, I hope that's going okay for you. Make sure you have some product. Yates does some, I'm sure Tilly do, and there's probably countless others. You want to make sure that you check for that. They will decimate your plant. Uh, Luke sent in a photo, this one, of his daughter's plant. Now, the trick is if you do see it on top, they're probably worse underneath. Make sure you check that out. Um, you don't want them eating your plant and causing problems. So aphids, um, something to check out, but luckily we're pretty good here in New Zealand. We've only got a couple of pests and bugs and things that can go wrong with a pumpkin plant. We don't have a whole bunch of the other bugs that they have overseas. Anyway, on to the other plants and things that I'm growing. Let's go. Luckily, luckily the place is so small here, I take my 15 steps this way and I'm here. This is a random thing, but this is a, um, where is it? A normal watermelon. Will it get bigger? I don't know. We'll see. Um, I think it's in an okay spot. There's grass and stuff growing everywhere. No other watermelons have really wanted to set. I think it's been a bit harsh for it. But um, yeah, on to the next plant. I had a whole bunch of these pots. They were 30 litres with handles, made in New Zealand, and they were six bucks from Pack and Save. So that's, you'll see them a lot. I've used a bunch of them. Anyway, uh, in the past I have grown miniatures in pots and I have this time I'll show you they're over there But uh, I started with a jack-o-lantern in this pot and it was going okay Then the plant started struggling so I transplanted the whole thing the other day and uh, oh, I can't see the screen but down here where are we with my finger That's the start of a jack-o-lantern pumpkin there's uh, been a couple others that fell off when it was in the pot, so... Okay, on to the next thing, over here. Here's some dead-looking uh, tomato plants with some tomatoes. Here's some plums, actually. Here's some nice-looking... Look at that. From the neighbour. Beautiful. Oh, so good. Actually, talking about that, let's check out the fence pumpkin. That's not coming out anytime soon. Okay. So, I did grow a bunch of different miniatures this year, and uh, thanks to Doug for the seeds. So, I've got um, a white... I've got a white miniature and I've got a yellow and then I've got a mixed one. So basically every pot in this size, oh, the smaller pot, okay, so that's 30 liters, that's, I don't know what it is. Each one of these can only produce one pumpkin. There's the yellow one, the white one's down there somewhere. Can't see it. This is a, um, what is that one? This is just a mini pumpkin, Baby Jack. So that's the normal one I grow. And then over here, I've got Coloured. And they've got the nicest shape. And I've got two of those. So that's good. Um, what else? Oh, I've got a normal pumpkin from the fence uh, next door, growing over here. And there's another one forming at the end. So that's about it, really. A um, whole bunch of small pumpkins and pots. I wasn't sure where to grow things this year. So we've got this area here, which in theory would be good, but um, they've decided to put down all this terrible gravel. 
everywhere and I'm still not convinced that that's not a huge ant nest actually I think the whole backyard is thought I'd do that video I uh, hope you are doing well I gotta go inside under the aircon it's too hot for me and um, yeah let me know what else you're growing I shot that whole video and I completely forgot about my new space age technology way of figuring out how much rain there has been and I know some people got those fancy rain gauges and some people got digital ones and all this but I came on to another thing look at this here it is here yep it rained a lot anyway that's now the end of the video thanks for checking it out okay until next time i'm sam see ya